with us here on the local vibe this Thursday High Point Theater will be filled with promising young women competing in the Miss North Carolina scholarship pageant. There will be several competitions through Saturday night and you can still purchase your tickets. Joining us now is the executive director of the Miss North Carolina scholarship organization. Miss Susan Williams. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. Thank you for being with us. We first would like you to talk about what makes the triad specifically a good location for this annual pageant. Well, it's centrally located, which is very uh, advantageous for all of our um, local program sending young women. So it makes it easy, accessible. And I'll tell you the thing that we keep coming back to is the cooperative spirit of Nancy Bowman over at uh, the High Point Vista Center, David and Carl and the team down at High Point Theater, the hotels, the generosity of the restaurants, everybody is just so welcoming and so happy to help support our program. So we're very, we feel very at home when we're there. That is great to hear. And what will the competition be like? Tell us the areas of competition too. Each young woman, including teen and miss, will compete in interview. And then that's a private interview. So that happens actually before the competition starts on Thursday. And then on stage competitions include health and fitness, which is a new area for miss. Um, years ago, the Miss America program had swimsuit and now they've changed over to health and fitness, which okay. is much easier for most young women. And then they do the traditional talent, which separates us from other competitions. We have evening gown and uh, on stage interview. So those are the areas they'll all compete in. And then the competition week details each day will consist of something differently, right? Well, each day we'll have two different competitions um, at three o'clock on Thursday and Friday will be our team competition. And then at 730 Thursday and Friday, will be the miss and those are the preliminary competitions. Then on Saturday after the top 16, top 15 have been decided and then the 16th will be what we call the people's choice. Those will be announced on Saturday and they will compete. The team will be at 2.30 and the miss at 7.30. And that's when we crown our next Miss North Carolina's team and Miss North Carolina. And what scholarships could participants be awarded? I mean, that's a really big part of all of this too, right? It, it truly is. It's the crux of the whole program. Mm -hmm. Over a hundred thousand dollars has been, um, a, will be awarded or can be awarded. It's just according to you know how the young women can use it. For our team program right now, the award package is at twenty-two thousand dollars, with seventy-five hundred of that going to the young woman that wins. In the MISS program, we have $44,000 that will be awarded in designated scholarships, and they range from business to even areas um, like you would have in newscasting. There's all kinds of things they can apply for. Wow. And then the top 16 package is at $41,000, with the next Miss North Carolina being awarded $20,000 to move forward in her scholarship endeavors. Well, that is a lot of money. I'm glad that you explained that for us. And all of this will begin on Thursday, right? So the competitions begin Thursday and people can still buy tickets. What would be your word of encouragement for people to, you know, really get involved and attend the show? Well, we are technically, we're calling it, Casey Woody down at High Point Theater says we're sold out. But there are a few odds and ends as we have progressed toward the competition. We've had some benefactors in scholarship who have said they can't come and they've turned their tickets back in. So there will be a few available tickets and we would love to see the okay. High Point area turn out with us. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time, Susan. We appreciate you. And once again, all the events are happening at the High Point Theater this Thursday. That's on East Commerce Avenue in Winston-Salem. To purchase your tickets, if you still can, just head to highpointtheater.com for more information.